you know, three generations, two generations ago, everyone had a, a cousin, an uncle, uh, or someone on a family farm that they'd go and, go and visit. So the connection was far, far easier to maintain about what we're doing, why we're doing, what we're trying to achieve. Uh, we don't have that luxury as much anymore, but I still think the story's good. There's a mix, I think. There's, there's some people probably think that, yes, we, we are trying really hard here and what, what relevance, um, why do we need to justify ourselves to people in the city uh, that may be concerned about uh, what, what practices we're we using because we believe we are using best practice. We're trying every year to improve and be better. It's very important for us as an industry in grains that we take everyone along with us on the ride because people rightly are far more interested in, in the whole supply chain of what ends up on their table for them and their children. Grains Focal Study was part of a larger Community Trust and Rural Industries program of research uh, and uh, the reason that we did that work with Grains was to focus on three key areas we could see in that larger body of research um, were both areas of high uncertainty for community members but also areas of high concern and those three areas were the use of GMOs, um, the use of agvet chemicals in the grains industry and also the use of fertilisers. So in this project we really drilled into those three areas in real detail and we did that through an online survey of a representative sample of the Australian population. Uh, the sample was about a thousand community members. So a really quite significant um, uh, sample of, of community that allowed us to look at those areas in, in real detail. What we found with, with grains is that trust within the Australian community is strong. So actually, rather than feeling concerned about uh, what, where the grains industry is at, um, the grains industry has a fantastic platform of trust from which to build uh, its relationship with community and also enough trust in that relationship that we can be tackling some more challenging issues without fear um, that it's going to really damage the, the relationship or make the industry uh, really vulnerable. Regarding trust in agriculture, life is not black and white, it's it shades of grey and the better the people have the understanding, the more informed their decision will be uh, and the more accepting of good science um, they probably will take on and in agriculture and in grains I think it's very much having my conversations with people who've had nothing to do with agriculture but have made time to understand what's going on, have a far better understanding and far more accepting of, of modern agriculture than people that have not taken the time to get the whole story. In this focal study we found that confidence, community confidence in regulation was an important and strong positive driver of trust in the grains industry, which might seem a little strange at first, but actually this is about community having confidence that somebody else is ensuring that grains industry does the right thing. And this is particularly relevant around uh, use of GMOs and also fertilizer and agvet chemicals, that um, there is a, a, a third party here, a regulator, who's, who's defining the box that, that the grains industry can operate within. I think that's particularly important for an industry like grains where uh, as consumers of those products we're a little bit separated um, in terms of the form of the product um, from what we consume over the table. We looked at different dimensions of GMO use and we asked about the trade-offs um, uh, that, that farmers um, uh, have to make in, in the use of, of GMOs. And what we found is that where GMOs are seen to support exports uh, of, of GMO support was a bit less uh, than where it was about delivering um, high quality food 
uh, uh, for, for Australians um, and, uh, and as a response to, to other challenges like climate change. So where the utility, the function of GMOs was really clear and that was focused on strong local benefit and response to contextual factors like climate change, the community support was, was stronger than it is in a, you know, taking an economic argument if you like. So on Agvac chemicals and fertiliser use, what we found is that um, first of all, community members really understand that they're important for the production of grains in Australia. Fertiliser use, uh, there was a, a really strong preference for the use of organic fertilisers over synthetic fertilisers. But I think that that relates to a general preference for organic things and a lack of understanding around the purpose of synthetic fertilisers um, and their important role in this industry. So I think teasing apart why it is that synthetic fertilisers have value here is, is important to, to do. There's real support for the use of Agvac chemicals or stronger support for their use in a context where it helps to preserve soil health, for example. So this is the sort of thing for us to be thinking about in terms of using these insights. Not just about, hey, Agvac chemicals are great and fine, you don't need to worry about them, but actually they have a real benefit on another dimension that's really important to community, which is sustainability and, uh, and responsible environmental management. Um, and that actually it's a complex picture for grain growers as well as for community members and there's real common ground there to be found I think. It's in our interest economically to reduce our, our footprint. Um, you know, just the fact that we probably we use a minimum looking behind you, a minimum till system. So we're using, we're trying to cultivate the ground as absolutely least as possible and that although it might lead to more herbicide use, it's drastic reducing our, uh, our fuel usage. And there's a, there's, so there's aspects to drill deeper with it, but generally I'm, I'm pleased that consumers in regard generally trust and have a high rating of grain growers in Australia, and I think it's well justified. As you can see, I'm pretty proud of the industry, I'm proud of my fellow farmers, and, and it's not only people that are actually working on the land, but the extension workers, the, the people that work in the DPI and, and people that work in research and development extension. It's a great community, it's a very collegiate community, a very sharing community, and it's for the betterment of all Australians, so I'm proud. Mm -hmm.